Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 94 for the XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to repeat elements on all pages. And I'm specifically going to talk about repeating navigation menu bars and also how to repeat your footer in your website. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish these tasks. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your designs gallery go ahead and lock that panel and once you lock that panel go ahead and click on page elements and then on navigation bars and drag any navigation menu bar that you want to in your workspace and once you do that we can go ahead and close the designs gallery and I'm gonna open the page and layer gallery and let's go ahead and lock that panel and let's go ahead and left click on this navigation menu bar and one of the things I want you to take notice of is in the upper right hand corner of that navigation menu bar there's this thing that looks kind of like a star and what that basically means is that this navigation menu bar is going to repeat on all pages and any changes in terms of positioning, color, text, links anything that you change on this navigation bar is going to automatically be applied to every page in your document so let me show you what I mean if we went to our page and layer gallery and selected the thumbnail for the first page and then select new page in the page layer gallery you'll see that on the second page it automatically created this navigation menu bar and it's in the exact same position it didn't change positions it's in the exact same position it has the same text the same color everything about it is the same and, but if we moved it up to the upper left hand corner and then went back to the home page you'll see that it's still consistent it's, it moved this one up to be in the upper left hand corner as well so by default, when you use a pre-built navigation menu bar, it's automatically going to it's automatically going to make those changes across every page. So that's what I want you to understand when you're using the pre-built one. But if you're not using a pre-built navigation menu bar, things will be a little different. So let's go ahead and delete this navigation menu bar unless you plan on using it in your in your document. And it's going to give me a prompt when I hit delete. Do you want to delete this navigation bar from all pages or just from the current one? I want to delete it from every page, so I'm going to delete from all pages. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to repeat a navigation menu bar when you build it from the ground up. In other words, a custom navigation menu bar. And I believe it's lesson 15 and 16 that shows you how to build that if you don't know what I mean by what I'm saying. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe it's lesson 15 and 16. So let's go ahead and drag in our uh, custom navigation menu bar. If you haven't created one, go ahead and create one so that you can follow the rest of this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and I'm going to hit create navigation bar because I've already created my mouse over state so that I can create my custom navigation menu bar. In this part of the tutorial you're not going to be able to follow actually adding this unless you have your custom navigation menu bar already and if you don't I highly recommend you watch the tutorials on how to create a custom navigation menu bar. And I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to give it a 10 pixel spacing and I'm going to adjust the button width and hit OK. So from here forward, assuming that you have your custom navigation menu bar, uh, first thing I want you to take notice of is that in the upper right hand corner of our navigation menu bar, there's no star thing there. In other words, this object is not set to repeat on all pages. So the way that you would repeat a custom built navigation menu bar is you go to arrange in your menu and then go to repeat on all pages and left click on that and you'll notice that now we have the star that symbolizes that this navigation menu bar is going to repeat on all pages and if you go to the second page you'll see that it's in the same position if we were to create a new page you'll see that it's still in the same position and if I move it to the upper left hand corner of our screen you'll see that now it's reflecting that across all pages so that's how you repeat a navigation menu bar that you built from the ground up to show on all your pages in your workspace so I'm going to go ahead and delete that navigation menu bar because I don't need it again this is for just demonstration purposes and I'm going to delete from all pages and then I'm going to go back to the home page so what if you wanted to repeat a footer for example, you wanted that to show up on every page. That's something that's pretty consistent, you know, throughout your whole website usually. I don't know any websites that don't repeat a footer consistently throughout the whole website. I'm going to go ahead and, and select the rectangle tool in my toolbar, and I'm going to go ahead and draw 
a uh, rectangle in my workspace and we'll assume that this symbolizes the footer of our website and then I'm going to get some text from my toolbar here by selecting the text tool and I'm going to write my www.mywebsite.com then I'm going to change the color and we'll just assume that this is our footer and my recommendation is that you select both the text and the object behind it when you're getting ready to repeat and the way you would do that is you would hold the shift key select the background you keep the shift key held down and select the text as well and now you will have both of those objects selected and you can see that by when I move the objects around and go and the reason I say that is because if you don't do that sometimes the text may be placed behind the rectangle and one of the ways to avoid that is just to select both the objects all together alternatively you could have just double left clicked and dragged around the whole selection like that and it would select it all as well but once you have both those things selected go ahead and go to your range menu and then look for the option repeat on all pages and now both these objects will have that star in the upper right hand corner as you can see the text has it and also the background that's behind it and if we go to any of our pages you'll see that that footer is in place but what if we change the size of one of these pages would it stay in the right position yes if you drag that down and make it taller you'll see that it stays consistent in terms of its distance from the bottom of the page if we go to any of our other pages you'll see again that it stays consistent even though this is a smaller page it stays in the exact same positioning it doesn't affect it so positioning wise when you repeat an object it's going to be consistent throughout all your pages just like your navigation menu bar would be so I hope that this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions comments definitely let me know don't forget to subscribe embed or share or favorite our video give us thumbs up and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.